Today, the National Transportation Safety Board held hearings into an engine failure last April that resulted in the first death for a U.S. airline in nine years. King 5's Glenn Farley has a look at the hearing and why the popular 737 and Boeing are under scrutiny. Yeah, it's, it has been a, a not a great week for the 737 and Boeing. Angry pilots, an FAA probe, and still looking for answers as to why a woman was killed when a safety device designed to contain a failing engine didn't. It's what you don't see in this NTSB video that's significant. Most of the left engine intake is gone, the cowling. The intake also serves to contain an engine failure and keep something like a broken fan blade and other debris from escaping and damaging the rest of the aircraft, especially the cabin filled with passengers and crew. In the case of Southwest Flight 1380 on April 17th, debris flew into the side of the plane, breaking a window. Killed was Jennifer Reardon of Albuquerque, New Mexico, the event shattering a nearly perfect safety record for U.S. airlines lasting nearly a decade. The NTSB will determine the probable cause of this accident and make any recommendations necessary to prevent similar accidents. In Washington, D.C., the safety board heard from Boeing, the FAA, the engine maker and other experts also looking for answers as to why this safety system failed. Mr. Habendank, the material that makes up the fan containment ring, what? A hearing that delved deeply into the technical. It's accounted for in all of the tests. And the certification testing which showed the system should have worked. The answer to how to fix it still months away. Then on October 29th, Boeing's newest 737, a MAX model just two months old, appeared to take a nosedive into the Java Sea shortly after takeoff from an Indonesian airport. The pilots of the Lion Air flight had very little time to diagnose and understand what was happening to them once the airplane started down. John Cox is a former 737 pilot and air crash investigator. While the cause of this accident is not yet known, Boeing and the FAA discovered how an automated safety system designed to keep the 737 MAX from pitching up and stalling could cause it to nose over if an important sensor fails. Pilots at Southwest and American now flying the jet say they were unaware of that change. John Weeks is president of the Southwest Pilots Association. That information was not disclosed to our company or our pilots that that system existed. The FAA today says it continues to evaluate the need for software or other design changes to the 737 MAX, including how it's flown, but the agency stated safety probe is limited to the MAX as it relates to that crash in Indonesia, not a broader safety probe as published in earlier media reports. By the way, there is a way, a procedure to deal with what's called runaway trim in this case in terms of shutting it down with mm -hmm. some switches on the, the, the front panel of the airplane. The question is, Is did that play a role? What did these guys do in Indonesia? A lot of unanswered questions. Wow. Well, meantime, what is Boeing saying about you know, all this? You know, Boeing is really not saying a lot. You know, they're saying, you know, they continue to support the investigation, the FAA work, everything here. Not saying a lot, deferring off to the investigation that's still going. Um, I think you can see some of the frustration with the pilots uh, from U.S. carriers. There's 45 of these flying for three U.S. airlines, including United, Southwest, and American, about 250 flying worldwide. So are pilots saying they're just not getting the training they need to respond to a crazy... Basic, uh, basically, pitch. there was some confusion earlier in the week. Was this not in the manual? Apparently, it was in the manual, but apparently it was not highlighted. So okay. the idea here is you have a type rating to fly a 737, that would include the MAX, but apparently there was not additional instruction. This automated system was there that apparently does not exist in the next gen, which is the previous generation mm -hmm. of 37. So. Okay. Thank you so much, Glenn.